Here's the question. It's a pop quiz. Where was Jesus born? If you had to pick a continent of where Jesus was born, which continent would it be? And let's assume for a second Jesus is historically real and he existed. I'm not getting into that here. But according to the legend, if he was born in Bethlehem, what continent was he born on? Right. And the, there is an answer to this because Bethlehem is situated in what is now known as the West Bank, which is in the Israeli occupied territory. And that technically resides in the continent of Asia. Again, you can divvy that up however you want, but if you have seven options, like an Antarctica ain't it, Asia is the right answer, which is why it's interesting that a recent article in Christianity Today, the evangelical publication, um, this is the headline, how Asian artists picture Jesus's birth from the year 1240 to today. Which is interesting. I want. I'm curious about that. How did they depict Jesus for the past, you know, millennium? And here's how the article begins: Jesus was born in Asia. He was Asian. Yet the preponderance of Christian art that shows him at home in Europe has meant that he is embedded deeply in the popular imagination as Western. And just think about that for a second, because this is an interesting concept that I don't think I had really spent any time thinking about. Like, Jesus is technically Asian based on where he was born. It's also true that different cultures have depicted Jesus in ways that are most familiar to them. So if you live uh, in Ethiopia and you look at pictures of Jesus, paintings of Jesus over the past centuries, they depict Jesus, some of them will depict Jesus as black. If you go to India and you look at paintings from India, you will see an Indian Jesus. Like you can play this game with any culture. They paint Jesus and characters from the Bible as if they belong to their cultures. That's not weird. That happens all the time. Now, why are we all thinking of like, if you think of a familiar painting of Jesus, you're thinking of like the long haired, blue eyed, white skin Jesus. Well, a lot of those came from like Renaissance era paintings of Jesus from Europe. And those are the ones that became famous that we're all familiar with. Like, it's not because those are historically accurate paintings of Jesus. It's because the guys who drew him uh, that's how they envisioned Jesus. You know what I mean? It's not like the Bible describes him that way. Plus, if you imagine Jesus to be like a Middle Eastern Jew, he probably had dark skin. Like none of those white skinned Jesus are really accurate, right? So again, going back to this Christianity Today article, Jesus was born in Asia. He was Asian. That is technically accurate. And it is also true that we have a very westernized idea of what Jesus looks like, and that's largely based on other paintings. And this is also interesting from this article. Some may object to depicting Jesus as anything other than a brown male, even though he's usually white in paintings, born into a Jewish family in Bethlehem of Judea in the first century, believing that doing so undermines his historicity. But... Christian artists who tackle the subject of the incarnation are often aiming not at historical realism, but at theological meaning. And again, I think that is worth taking seriously. None of these people painting Jesus are looking at history and saying, well, what did those people look like back in the day? Of course, they're not looking for historical accuracy. They're just trying to paint a scene and tell a story. That's what art is, right? That's fine. That's fine. That is how art works. There's nothing weird about that. Which is to say, like, I remember seeing this painting a while ago uh, of what would Jesus actually look like? And this is the painting that came up. It's like, yeah, if you think about it, that kind of is more like what someone living in Bethlehem in the first century would have looked like dark skin with a beard, short hair. Like that's very much not the Jesus with long flowing hair. You know what I mean? Um, but you don't see 
that image very often, right? Reasons. Why is that? Who knows? Anyway, so the person who wrote this article in Christianity Today is Victoria Emily Jones, who happens to blog at a website called Art and Theology. So she's been studying this stuff for a really long time, certainly spent years writing about it. So she seems uniquely equipped to talk about how Asian artists have depicted Jesus over the years. And when I was going through the article, there were some really, really interesting paintings all throughout this essay. Here's one example of it right here. This is uh, this is from Korea. The birth of Jesus Christ. I'm going to butcher the name, but Kim Ki Chang. Um, and this is the painting right here. And I'm going to zoom in. I mean, you can just tell that the people in the painting have these Chinese features to them. Would white Christians in the United States be familiar with that image? No, it's not what nativity scenes look like in the United States. But okay, that is how a Chinese Christian depicted like the nativity. Interesting. I've never seen that painting before. I found that really interesting. Here's another one I really liked. Uh, I want to show you. Oh, look at this one. This was interesting. From the Philippines, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name, but the painting is The Meaning of Christmas by Christopher Ardenia. And again, look at this thing. Oh, no, come back. Look at this painting. It just shows Jesus with surrounded by people with these facial features that you will not see in Western portraits of Jesus, Western paintings of Jesus. Just really interesting how all these cultures are kind of telling the same story, but in a way their audiences may consider uh, more familiar to them. So again, why is this article being published in Christianity Today? And why was it published around Christmas time? The, the point that the author said in the article, and I'm going to go back to that for just a second, the point that the author raised in the article is worthwhile because she's kind of saying that it doesn't matter how they depicted it. Here's what she said. Whatever the motive or religious background of the artist, visual interpretations of this sacred story offer a gift of beauty to the global church. Coupled with Asian Christian artists of the past 50 years, vibrant new imaginings of the nativity abound. These nine artworks proclaim the expansiveness of Christ's kingdom. I mean, all right, fine. It's written for a Christian audience. You can't be mad at her for saying all that stuff. But I mean, yeah, people in other parts of the world aren't necessarily going to connect with white European Jesus, nor are their descendants. So their artists paint a different type of Jesus. Very interesting, right? It should be. It's fascinating. That is how they're depicting it. None of this should be controversial. If anything, let's say you're a conservative Christian. I think you would be able to read that article, look at the images, and celebrate how universal your chosen myth happens to be, right? Like, look at how the Christian story transcends all these cultures and geographical boundaries. I could totally see how Christians could say, see, that's how you know we're a powerhouse in the game of religion. That is not how Christians reacted to this article. They were so mad, like at the first line saying Jesus is Asian, which again is literally accurate. If you believe he was born in Bethlehem, they were so mad at the idea that Jesus is Asian that they didn't read anything else in that story. They did not get the point of the story, which is that Asian artists depict Jesus with features and, and surroundings that are familiar to the Asian people where they live. They didn't do that. Nope, they just said, what? Jesus? Asian? Never, you blasphemer. <laughs> like, they responded with vitriol. I'm going to show you some of the stuff they responded with because it goes from just, like, angry to insane. Here's, here's just a typical one. And again, uh, I'll show you this. I just want you to know most of these are responding to a, a tweet from Christianity Today just saying Jesus was born in Asia. He was Asian. It's the first line in the article. The artists in this photo essay bring him back to Asia, but not to ancient Israel, right? That's what the article said. And the first response here, 
please delete your account. Wait, it gets worse. Here's another response to the same tweet. Blasphemy. Jesus is a Jew. It's necessary for our salvation that he is a son of David from the tribe of Judea and born in Bethlehem. Stop this nonsense. He isn't European, Asian, Palestinian, or black. He's a Jew, the king of the Jews, and therefore the savior of the world. Nothing in the article says he's not. This is someone who did not read the article and totally missed the point and apparently thinks it's like anti-Semitic and also seems to think by saying he was born in Asia that we are suggesting something. I don't know. I don't know what this dude is mad about. Wait, it gets worse. Here's someone else. This is a guy that runs like the Babylon Bee or something. He's connected to it. Hey, next, can you please do an article with a bunch of AI images of Jesus if he were Rosa Parks? I don't know if that's supposed to be funny. It's not, but that also explains every piece on the Babylon Bee. What is he trying to get at? Uh -huh. uh, here's another one. You have to hate truth to post something so audaciously false. What is the purpose? What is the motive here? What did what did Christianity Today, the white evangelical publication of note, what did they say? They said Jesus was born in Bethlehem, so he's Asian. And apparently these people are so mad that it has to be a lie. They can only understand a white Jesus born in, what, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, is it? <laughs> There's no other place. What are they mad about? Wait, it gets worse. You should change your name to today. There's nothing Christian going on over there. He is accusing a Christian author writing at a Christian publication of not being Christian because they said the Christian story, if true, happened in Bethlehem. I don't know. I feel like I'm the guy that's supposed to be mad at things Christianity Today does but I'm totally cool with that particular article. And all of these Christians are 100% not my favorite. Oh my God, look at this. Jesus was born in America. He was American. See, I can say stupid stuff too. How do you respond to people this dumb? That's not what they were saying. Jesus, according to the Christian legend, was born in Bethlehem. Yes, that makes him Asian in the continent of Asia. It is accurate. Here's another similar one. You just change your name to paganism today at this point and stop with this utter garbage nonsense. Unbelievable. Hey, if they change it to paganism today, at least the right people would get credit for Christian beliefs. Uh, Ken Ham, the creationist, he also got involved. I would show you the actual tweet, but he blocked me a long time ago. So I'll just show you a screenshot of his tweet. How could an item depicting Jesus... Imagine I have an Australian accent. I'm not going to try. How could an item depicting Jesus as Asian be even published in a Christian magazine? Well, it's all consistent with what has been happening over the years with the rampant compromise in the church on Genesis. He always He has to find a way to make it about his thing every time. Christianity Today apparently disrespecting the written word of God. That's why I've always said that my ministry, no one cares. God's people need to return to the authority of God's word beginning in Genesis. Again, he's mad about something that no one said. What is happening? I think Franklin Graham took the cake, though. The famous evangelist found a way to work in mega talking points. Are they trying to cancel the real Jesus? The real Jesus? Okay, we're going to do this a line at a time because he says too many stupid things. Are they trying to cancel Jesus? Yeah, buddy, Christianity today really hates Jesus, man. <laughs> and are they trying to cancel the real Jesus? Who is the real Jesus if not the same Jesus they were talking about in the article? Franklin Graham makes it sound like the real Jesus is white European Jesus. Again. Not historically accurate in any way. Anyway, many have criticized Christianity today for their article about artists depicting Jesus as Asian. Not the point of the article. They did not like 
have a normal nativity scene and then use like a yellow marker on the Jesus, on the baby Jesus. No, they said, hey, if the nativity scene wanted, we wanted to share that story with our audiences, this is probably what the people would look like. And isn't this familiar? Said it already. I also have to ask why? We don't have to wonder or speculate about this. The Bible gives us very specific details about Jesus's earthly lineage. Again, the article did not challenge any of this. It said Jesus was born in Asia. Jesus was Asian. And Franklin Graham is like, I tell you, he was born on Earth. You get why this is dumb, right? It's not just me. What else did he say at the end here? He didn't come from Beijing, China, or from Jakarta, Indonesia. <laughs> And the line before it, I didn't highlight it, but it's there. We know that Jesus was Jewish. There are Jews in other countries too. The article didn't say Jesus was born in China or Indonesia. Why don't any of these people read the article? I cannot be the only person who reads Christianity today. I am not their target audience. Franklin Graham, whose daddy... I thought founded Christianity today. I think that's true. Like he, of all people, should read the articles, but nope. Even his, like the interns who write all this shit for him, apparently they don't either. And then he says, is this, is the current backlash to Israel defending its homeland against Hamas atrocities leading progressives, Christianity today, not progressives, to attempt to sanitize Jesus from being Jewish? Guess what? We don't get to make God in our own image. My dude, all you people do is make Jesus in your own image. Jesus was like a Jewish socialist with dark skin, and conservatives think he wears a mega hat and votes Trump. Like, conservatives know as well as anybody, you can make Jesus in whatever image you want to make him in. But somehow he made this about I don't know, an argument against Israel during this conflict, which has nothing to do with Jewish people at all. He is who he is. Right. And he wasn't white, my dude. What do you think? Listen, if Franklin Graham is this dumb, I promise you the people who follow Franklin Graham are even dumber. Fox News, by the way got in on this too. Here's the headline on Fox News' website. Christian magazine ridiculed after insisting Jesus was Asian. He was. Did you guys read the Bible? Listen, no one at Fox News reads. I mean, period. But to rep by rep, look at the subtitle because this actually gets it right. By representing Jesus as Japanese, Indonesian, or Indian, art can convey the universality of Christ's birth, the article suggests. Yeah, if you make Jesus look like your people, it's easier to sell them the story. That's why Fox only has white people on all the time. By the way, you know what Fox News has promoted in the past? Megan Kelly, when she was on the network, and you know what she said back in the day? She famously said Jesus and Santa were white. The exact quotation, you know, just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change, Kelly said on an actual, like, segment. Jesus was a white man, too. It's like we have, he's a historical figure. That's a verifiable fact, as is Santa. Santa's white. Jesus was white. <laughs> oh, my God. And Megyn Kelly was, like, promoted as the smart one. She was on Fox because she was, like, the lawyer, not just the pundit back in the day. So, I mean, I'm not surprised Fox is like, yeah, Jesus was totally white. I'm not surprised all these other people also think Jesus is historically white, but also... Saying he's Asian is literally true because guess what? As an Asian, there's a wide variety of Asians. Asia's big. 
I know these people are not good at like geography and history and science and English. I'm just saying like there are many types of Asian and yeah, modern day Israel, modern day, the West Bank, all that stuff. Even if you want to say it's in the Middle East or a different West Asia, whatever you want to call it, it's still technically Asia. So yeah, the article was fine. All the people met at the article are very much not fine. And you know, they just, they didn't read any of it. They just saw the word Asian and they're like, their mega senses got triggered and they had to be mad about it. Even though it was actually supporting the thing that they believe. Utterly stupid. I think I'll stop there. I don't know. There's just ridiculous. By the way, there was also a lot of racist tweets I did not show you, but I promise you there were a bunch of racist tweets as well. Um, I don't know. By, uh, side note, before I'm done with this, before I'm done with this, I just got to say, I would love with reason to criticize Christianity today because they do say a lot of things that are worth criticizing. I will give you a couple quick examples and then I will finish off. Back in 2015, they responded to like uh, news about marriage equality and Christians supporting or not supporting marriage equality with an editorial breaking news, everybody. Two billion Christians believe in traditional marriage. But this is the line that stood out to me. Like, because people were coming to terms with marriage equality. This is what their editor in chief said at the time We'll be sad, but we won't panic or despair. Neither will we feel compelled to convert and distance ourselves from them. But to be sure, they will be enlisting in a cause that we believe is ultimately destructive to society, to the church, and to relations between men and women. They believe Christianity today as a publication believe same-sex couples are destructive to society. Now that, as an editorial for Christianity Today, is something you can absolutely be mad at them about. Or if that's not enough for you, years ago, they published an essay uh, written by, wait for it, a youth minister who turned out to be a sexual predator who went after a child. And they published an essay by the guy Basically saying, I did this bad thing, but you guys, forgive me. I'm a good guy. It's a long piece. It was basically a first-person narrative written by a sex predator, and it did not take into consideration the victim or anything like that. It just let this guy speak without any uh, further insight. They got so much backlash for running this essay that they actually took it down from their site. What I'm showing you here is a saved copy of the article that went up later. Um, like, you can't go to this URL anymore and see the article. They took it down. But I'm saying, like, publishing that story? Absolutely Christianity Today should have been criticized for it. But publishing a photo essay by someone who understands art history and the religion that's not a thing to be mad at them about. That article was fine. It was interesting. I found it interesting. All these Christians are mad because they can't read and they can't even read a photo essay that had very few words.